Five children are in limbo as a family heads to court in a fight to get them back. It's a controversial case after a traffic stop in Manchester involving a family from Georgia. DCS took custody because officers found a small amount of marijuana in the car. Well, that was one month ago, and as News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, there are still questions about how and why this all happened. Here is what we know. A couple out of Georgia was stopped February 17th in Manchester, and their five children were taken from them after a THP officer found a small amount of marijuana in the vehicle. One question, was this justified? Now, a month later, no clear answers. Bianca Claiborne and Deonta Williams were back in Manchester this week, going before a juvenile court judge hoping to regain custody of their children, which have been in foster care. The judge issued a gag order on the case. After the closed hearing, attorney Courtney Teasley talked about the details of the traffic stop. He was stopped for a window tent violation and a slow poke law in a state where the driving while black report was published. An estimated five grams of a substance believed to be marijuana was found in the vehicle. That alone typically would not be enough to justify removing five children from a family. So what else is there? The Tennessee Department of Children's Services is prohibited under the law from commenting on such juvenile cases. These juvenile proceedings are closed to the public. So we can't share with you the details, but in those hearings, many things are discussed. Safety, well-being to the children, custody decisions. Sources tell News Channel 5 the parents submitted to a quick test on hair follicles the day they were stopped that came back positive for meth and fentanyl, a result that they dispute. Experts say those quick tests often give false positives. The parents did not speak after the hearing, but Teasley says there can be no justification under the circumstances to have separated the family. About how this was similar and felt reminiscent of slavery. Mm with the family being forcefully separated as they were, and a mother was strained, five children taken away. Today I learned the children's mother tested negative for fentanyl and methamphetamine on a urine test, and she is now submitted to a more comprehensive lab test on a hair follicle, and those lab results that should be back in a day or two. We're told the five children will for now remain in the custody of a family member here in Tennessee until the final drug tests are back. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. Now, if the hair follicle test comes back negative, it's expected the children will be allowed to return to Georgia with their parents by the end of the week, but a final decision will have to come from the judge.